Greetings, Ben Murray here with another edition of SaaS Metric School. Hope you're doing well. Today, talking usage-based revenue and your COG setup. So if we are beyond pure play SaaS, so kind of those traditional revenue streams and, and COGS departments for a SaaS company, and we have usage-based revenue are really any sort of variable revenue streams, we need to look at how we're going to set up our COGS area on our SaaS p &L. So I like to say our revenue streams dictate how we set up COGS. So first, variable revenue, of course, this could be usage-based processing, transaction, consumption, and so on and so on. So any sort of variable revenue month to month. So when we have variable revenue streams, we have to look at the expenses to support those variable revenue streams. And oftentimes, these revenue streams are pure profits. Say we're taking a cut of the revenue flowing through our system, or there's some sort of credit card volume going through our systems. We take a cut of that, and we have... 100% profit. But there are other cases where we have hard costs associated with those variable revenue streams. For example, Twilio, if we have in-app messaging, when we charge per message, we're going to have a hard expense associated with Twilio. In those situations, we want to look at our COG section on our SaaS p &L and set up a variable cost center to capture those direct expenses associated with delivering our variable revenue streams. This is really important because we need to one, understand our overall gross profit correctly. And two, it's really important to understand margins by revenue stream. Say you have subscription revenue, variable revenue, maybe you have some professional services revenue and three revenue streams contributing to your overall gross profit. We need to understand which revenue stream is impacting that gross profit. If we have low gross profit, why? If we have high gross profit, why? So we have to understand margins by revenue stream. So when we have multiple revenue streams on our SaaS p &L, dictated by our, by our pricing models and how we deliver our product, we've got to set up our COGS area appropriately. Again, so we can calculate overall gross profit and then margins by revenue stream. And again, we need those margins by revenue stream accurate because those are going to flow into SaaS metrics. And if we have variable revenue and subscription revenue, that's going to affect how we calculate a lot of our sales and marketing efficiency metrics, which will require margins by revenue stream. So look at your SaaS p &L. What kind of revenue streams do you have? Do you have variable revenue? And then ask yourself, do I have hard expenses associated with delivering that variable revenue? And are those being coded correctly in the COGS area and hopefully to a variable cost center in the COGS area? So I hope you enjoyed this episode today, found value in it. If you like these episodes, please rate me, rate me a five-star. I'd love that. And we'll talk to you tomorrow.